So I can't believe I'm doing a, another live video here when I've never done these before. It's all Brianne's fault. Um, that's good. Some young girl came and forced me into keeping up with modern technology. So this is how we do our, um, our French nails, is we pick up a fair bit of gel paint onto a detail brush and we paint our smile line on. And nice deep smile lines, not straight across. I hate straight across smile lines. If your client wants it straight across, try and show her what a deep smile line does and how it makes her hand look slimmer and her fingers longer. So if you make a little boo-boo on the, um, the smile line, you can just go back in and just touch it up but we don't swipe the smile lines. Um, and Karen, if you're watching, this is what I mean about um, painting on the smile line. Um, don't go back in with your brush and swipe the smile line um, because gel paint is really, really pigmented. Um, it will leave um, um, residue behind and you'll have a little bit of color. Okay, so this is uncured and I know my smile line's not perfect. So this is uncured and the reason I use a color underneath it, you could do it into just clear um, gel paint, but if you do it into a similar color, it'll just make the color look richer and deeper. So what you need to do is, where are... you need to have a little container. Um, underneath and I do sell these I think they're under the rhinestone section so you're gonna do all five nails on your customers hand all the nails then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your glitter and this works with any microfine glitter um, if it's not microfine it's not gonna work as well so this is mosaic magenta stardust glitter and all you do is sprinkle it onto the uncured gel not dispersion layer uncured gel so you have not cured mm -hmm. it and then you just tap it off do all your customers five nails and in the lamp so that's one way that you can do um, glitter nails so gel paint is a one minute cure if I'm doing glitter into it, I like to cure it longer because it's kind of taking the light a little bit more to get through um, that glitter. And so I want to make sure that it cures all the way through. Okay, so this other one I'm going to do, I just love how this one turns out. I'm going to use Flamingo. And actually, I'm going to blend it with, um, with Orchid. So I'm going to do a side-by-side -side blend. So I'm going to pick up a little bit of Orchid on my brush. And I'm going to put it on half the nail. And then I'm going to pick up a little bit of Flamingo. And put it on the other half of the nail. And then I'm just going to blend that in the middle give kind of a vertical ombre. So it's not a perfect blend. I'm just leaving it a little bit um, uneven like that. And I'm going to cure that for a minute. Okay, so this one is done curing. So now I'm going to take a brush and you can use a light fluffy brush like this or you can use a nail brush that's coarser and you can really brush it hard. So if you leave that like this, that's called velvet sound effect. And you can do that on a French tip, you can do it on design, you can do it on a full nail. And it feels a little bit rough. You can you can feel that it feels a little bit rough. Um, it gradually smooths out. It will not wear off. It will not chip off. 
um, your clients can wear that for four weeks, no problem. It will last. But if you want to do it as a glitter nail, then after you've brushed it all off, you take some top gel and um, I'm going to use the Evie Lac top coat because it was the first one I reached for. Um, any one of our top coats will work. Now the important part here is when you're putting it on, just put it on the glitter. And we always say one coat to seal and then one coat to shine. Why I'm putting that just on the glitter is if I take this brush, I don't know if you can see on the camera, there's a little bit of glitter in there already. If I pick that up and go here, I'm going to end up with a couple little bits of stray glitter up there. And it's bad enough we get stray glitter everywhere anyway. Um, I'm going to try and keep it from going. So I'm going to flash cure this. So what I'm doing here now, before I put my brush back into my um, top gel, I'm wiping it off so that I don't put glitter back in. But the one nice thing about top gels, when they're really runny, if you do get bits of glitter into the, bot into the bottle, it ends up falling down to the bottom. So it all ends up sitting on the bottom, and as long as you don't shake that bottle, um, you don't pick it up as much. So now I can go in and now I can top coat. And of course you can put design and stuff on here now. But now I go over the whole thing and I top coat it. So really easy way to do glitter nails. None of this mixing glitters up and, and having 15 million little pots. You don't have to build it into the bottom of your nail. So it's all done on top of a finished nail. So when your client comes off, all you're doing is buffing off that little tiny bit of surface. And you can see how thick it is. It's not very thick at all. You just buff it off and, and go again. Because I remember the olden days when I used to do glitter the old-fashioned way where you filed the nail all the way down to the natural nail and then you built it on. And, and then sometimes when you're shaping it, you accidentally um, filed into the glitter and it... It ruins it because it kind of, yeah, this is so much easier. So now this is cured gel paint. So I've got um, Orchid on one side and Flamingo Metallic on the other side. And I'm going to show you a really, really cool technique. Um, we've been doing this for years. Um, Mosaic Stardust glitters have been around since I've been selling the product for five years. Um, this gives you that mermaid effect. So all I'm doing with my finger is onto the dispersion layer, I'm pressing um, the um, Stardust Glitter, and this is Hollow Light Rose Stardust Glitter. I'm pressing it all over, and you can see already what's kind of happening. Can you kind of see that holographic mm -hmm. thing happening? Okay, so once you've got it pressed all over the whole nail, now you start rubbing it. And you just very, very gently rub it. Hopefully you guys can see this on the camera. You just very gently start rubbing it and you can start going faster. I'm not applying any pressure. It's just a very, very gentle rubbing. And it's kind of like rubbing the uh, Aladdin's lamp. And all of a sudden, the magic is coming out. And I don't know if you guys can see that on the camera or not. Um, and you can feel it so you can feel how smooth that is oh, yeah. and you want it to go just a little bit smoother I would say till it's smooth like a baby's bottom so just be careful that you don't um, rub at the edges because you'll you'll rub it off the edge so just and here you can see where I've rubbed a little wee bit off the edge and you can really easily fix that if it happens and I'll show you how you can fix it so there you've got a beautiful holographic effect and Whatever color you put underneath will kind of give the tone of it. So you can see this side is a little bit darker and this side is a little bit lighter. So it works really nice over top of Orchid, Flamingo, Pink Metal. Um, looks really, really nice um, over it. So again, like I said before, um, one coat of top coat to seal it. Just a nice thin coat to seal it. And if you've managed to file off some little um, bits, 
Just take your detail brush and a tiny bit of, um, of top gel on your detail brush and just pick up a couple granules of the, um, the glitter and just fill in those little spots that you may have rubbed off with your finger. Okay, so we're going to cure this. And here's our glitter tip. And if you feel it, oh, it's got tacky. So why? Because I like using the tack for you when I'm demonstrating and stuff. So you can feel it. There's it's still sticky on it. But you can feel there's no line there at all. There's no bump. And super, super thin. And it's a really nice glitter nail. Of course, you decorate it. It's pinned. It's pinned game. But there I've showed you how to do a glitter tip. And if you didn't top coat it, then it would be a velvet sound effect nail or sugar nail if you want. So this one I'm just going to put my second coat um, of top gel on. And I recommend two thin coats because if I was to feel that right now, you're going to feel it not perfectly smooth. Um, so just two thin coats of top gel and... And this will not chip off. Absolutely will not chip off. It will last. It will give you guaranteed results every time. I know girls try and do the um, the chrome pigments and stuff, and we don't do chrome. It's it's too finicky, and I just don't want my customers coming back after a week with it chipping. Or me trying to figure out how many exact seconds I have to cure it for or yeah it's just I'm too old for the headaches so anyway an impromptu bonus glitter video um, hope you guys enjoyed it and looks like we may have started something here so again have a great weekend thank you guys for watching um, I'll talk to you soon bye bye